Hi ho friends, it's Michelle back again with another weekly wax meltdown to share with you. I hope everyone is doing well this week and let's jump in. As you can see actually first, I got a haircut <laughs> and uh, I'm sure you notice it's a little shorter than I was wanting but luckily it grows back so there's that. Um, I am an independent Scentsy consultant, so I always start with Scentsy Wax in these uh, meltdown videos. And if you need a consultant or have any questions, or even if non-related to Scentsy, check out that description box below because I put all kind of information in there. Um, possibly some discount codes um, from some brands. Anyway. Yeah, just check it out. It could even have some corrections if I may have said something wrong in the video to correct myself, right? Okay, um, so we're kind of in that weird time of year where we're in fall winter catalogs um, and fall winter scents are coming out or have been out for a while, but I'm just, I, I live in Texas and it's not even close to fall winter type season yet. So I'm not ready to start warming that kind of stuff, those kind of scents. So, uh, the majority of what I have, at least for Scentsy, is not currently available. I'm trying to kind of work through my stash and, um, you know, stick with kind of what feels good to warm right now. Anyway, there's only one that I warm this week that is still available, and that is the Scooby-Doo Zoinks Bar. I love the label on this. This is pink pineapple, strawberry, and clementine. And I'm a little on the fence with this scent. Um, I warmed it actually in this room. I think it's actually, yeah, it's still going. Um, and as you can see, I only have four cubes going in this room, which is about normal. Sometimes I'll put six and use the um, up warmer but anyway I have two cubes in a 25 watt honey pot ceramic Winnie the Pooh honey pot ceramic warmer here in front of me and then another two in the um, warmer the we're all mad here warmer that I just got anyway on with the scent um, I do get the pink pineapple and I get the clementine but it's almost more of a bitterness from that clementine than it is tangy, you know, or, or sweet or citrusy type note. It, I get more of a bitter note. Maybe that's just my nose, but I really wanted to love this bar. And I think for one, it's light for me. So maybe with it curing for, a, you know, a month or two, I may like it better. So I'm definitely going to keep it in the club until I give it a decent amount of time to cure and really decide. But for right now, I, it's not what I was hoping for. <laughs> All of those notes mean I should really love it. And there's just like a bitterness that I'm getting that I don't really care for. I do get all you know, the strawberry maybe just adds a little bit of sweetness, but the thing that stands out the most is the pink pineapple and then that like bitter um, tangerine type scent or clementine. Okay, this, I have pink poinsettia and this was a brick in last year's um, oh, holiday brick collection. It's plum, blackberry and pomegranate and I really like this scent. It's just super light. I thought, you know, I put it in my club for a while, which is why I have a normal size bar. But um, I thought maybe if I just let it cure, it'll get stronger. And it has a little bit, but not, I'm looking for a pour date. I don't see one, but not enough, you know, to have kept it in my club. So I, I took it out a while back, um, but it's nice. I will enjoy the couple of bars that I have left. I get all of those notes and it's kind of a dark berry but with that bright pomegranate in there which i think is why i like it which is kind of similar actually to my favorite bar at least right now the turning red has um some similar notes to it and kind of the same type of scent anyway 
So, yeah, I'm enjoying that. That one's actually in our bedroom right now. Petal Pals. This was part of the Valentine collection last year. It's Pink Rose Peony and Whipped Marshmallow. And this is a nice floral marshmallow scent. Um, as it cures, that rose is getting a lot stronger than the marshmallow. And it's starting to actually, when I warm this, give me a headache or even a migraine if I don't catch it soon enough. Um, it's a great scent. I just wish that that rose was a little lighter and that marshmallow stood out more. I also warmed Strawberry Rose. This is Strawberries, Rose Petals, and Sheer Musk. And this is a great scent. It's in my uh, Scentsy Club. Don't let the rose scare you if you ever see this one around. It is mostly like a candied strawberry with a little hint of that rose and musk and a strong performer as well. With Grace is from uh, the Glamorous You collection last summer. It's Gardenia, Pink Peony, and Soft Musk. This to me almost has like a peach type scent to it and I'm not sure where that comes from <laughs> um, anyway yeah I, I swear there's like peach in here with some floral it's nice um, I think it's a little bit too much of the floral for me personally but if you love florals this would be a great one to try out if you ever see it around and then I did two bars of blackberry meringue this is blackberry sugared fig, black plum, ground spice. I don't necessarily get any spice in this. Hardly get anything at all, actually. You may have seen me mention this one before. We, it was in a flash sale. Was it in like February or March, I think? Um, however, these were poured. The date on the inside says these were poured in 2018. So... These were, I, I can't judge this scent really on these bars. <laughs> it was really light and the wax was bad. Um, it was sticky, gooey, almost like gum in the warmers. So yeah, I can't really judge the, the scent on these uh, bars. So what I did was actually put these in a candle, uh, empty candle vessel and put it in a candle crock to enjoy it for a few days. You know, like I said, it hardly had any scent left, but I enjoyed what there was. Um, next, we will do Pink Zebra. Just a few items. I did Coconut Frappe, and I have this in a bakery bag because it was in um, some separate bags similar to this. And I wanted it all together to store it. Um, I fell in love with this scent which is frozen mocha coffee, toasted coconut, and sweet whipped cream. It's all of that. It's a very creamy mocha, so just a hint of the chocolate with the coffee and quite a bit of like a coconut note in here, which is what I really liked about it. Um, if you've seen my other videos, I actually am trying to find current available scents that from other vendors, you know, and I think the closest I've found so far is Super Tarts. Um, uh, what is it? I think it was Predator. Now it's Brutiful, I think. No. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, it's a very similar type of scent. And strong as well. And I went through a few of the jars of sprinkles with pink zebra. I did blackberry buttercream frosting and this is blackberry buttercream moist vanilla almond cake and it, it was nice. It's really light though. I don't think this is currently available. I get more of an almond blackberry type note than um any vanilla really so to my nose the almond is just a little off a little weird um, that's just me though I think and that was fairly light of a scent too they have a monthly uh, pick they call it Paisley's pick 
uh, scent and I used calming waters. This was from June's Paisley's pick, I believe. Um, notes say water lotus and coconuts, basically. I'm trying to just shorten it up for you. It was nice. Um, wouldn't be a repurchase for me, but definitely kind of that aquatic white floral um, water lotus type note with a light kind of creamy coconut in there. A good medium performer. It did well. Um, would not buy it again, but I did enjoy it. Um, also used a jar of spring cleaning and this is spring air citrus and blooming flowers and that's pretty good basic description of it um, and it is kind of a basic spring type of scent I get all of that kind of a fresh air but mainly like a citrus and a blooming flower I don't know though it, I would put this in the fresh category not a floral category if that helps any um and then i went through a bag of rainbow cookies this was the paisley pick for mm, july it's sugary vanilla almond cookie cake sweet raspberry jam topped with a light chocolate drizzle and this was really nice it almost uh smells like a red velvet cake with like some raspberry jam so really nice I really enjoyed it and I'm not even a huge bakery lover but yeah I, I do enjoy this scent and I think I have one more bag left in my stash and last pink zebra is new baby <laughs> my husband had picked this one out at the trade days Canton where I kind of in a way discovered pink zebra this is apricot blanketed with milk notes tonka bean and creamy sandalwood so this is kind of like baby powder mixed with apricot and sandalwood um, to take the edge off a little bit of that powderiness so it kind of warms it up and almost you know that sandalwood kind of makes it a little masculine um, Anyway, almost like a perfumey or cologne type of masculine type powdery scent. It's kind of weird the two mix, but it works. Um, and that's a strong one as well. And next I've got two super tarts. One is Immortal Child. And this is... I think I warmed this last week as well. Um, it's a mix of go to sleep and happy birthday. Um, and I did not. Uh, so pink sugar lavender cream. And then birthday cake basically. Um, so it's really nice creamy kind of lavender bakery type scent. And then Chrissy's Remains, which you can see the scent notes actually on here. It's um, her Jaws blend, which is sea salt, ozone, seagrass, plum, and pear mixed with cotton candy. And I had actually, so I think I've mentioned the clamshells that she uses overtakes, overpowers the actual scent of the wax inside sometimes. And that was happening with this, so I had taken it out of the clamshell and just cut the um, front piece of the clamshell to put in here with those cubes. So I wanted to go ahead and use this up, you know. And honestly, these blends are usually really strong, but it was pretty weak. And it was only in this bag for maybe a month. Um, so I don't know if it was from the bag or just from it being in this. Anyway, it was an older bar, I'd say going on a year and a half old now. So it could be either one, but either way, I won't be repurchasing that. It is a strong scent and her Jaws blend is perfection. I love, love, love that blend. I have some Bam bags, which is what she calls um, 
you know, like a Ziploc bag with just cubes in it so it's not clamshell and I don't notice any kind of weird smell from those bags like I do in her clamshells. So, oh, speaking of Super Tarts, they are changing the way they are doing their openings, their pre-orders. So check that out if you're interested. Um, she used to go alphabetically like by type of scent. So she might do like apple, sweet, and citrus one week um, and do like, you know, 15 or so of the blends. And then the next week she might do, you know, bakery and spice. So by categories and alphabetically. Now I think she's just doing alphabetically. So it could be basically in a week's pre-order, it could be every scent type that there is. I'm not sure. I don't think I'm going to like that because there may only be one or two cents offered that I like and I'm not probably going to be willing to pay shipping for one or two cents. You know, we all kind of have our scent type preferences, so I I think it might be better to have categories, but you know, she she plays around and changes things depending on what the company needs, you know. So it was time for another change I guess um, so yeah just wanted to let y'all know that just uh, check her check out her Facebook group if you are curious about any of that and then last wax melts before we get to candles is Kringle and country candle um, actually these are both country but it's Kringle one of the new scents candy apples and this is candy apples. Um, top notes, crisp apple, cinnamon, peach skin, green. Mid notes, clove, carnation, coconut flakes. Base, tonka, sheer vanilla. It's just a very sweet cinnamon apple. I was really hoping that the cinnamon was, you know, kind of lighter and more of a bakery cinnamon. It's a red hot cinnamon, 100%, and just sweetened up the, the apple. Um, so yeah, I mean, that that label works, except add cinnamon to it. So yeah. And Country Candle again, I have cilantro, apple, and lime. This is lime tea, verbena, mint, peach, pear, and peach. Um, there's too much of the herbal note in here. For me, it doesn't say cilantro or apple in the scent notes. Um, and I would kind of agree, maybe? Anyway, I don't really care for this. It's a little too floral, a little too like minty weirdness. I don't know, there's just a weirdness to it for me. Um, and. And these two were strong, by the way. Okay, on to candles. I had under the candle lamp, which I forgot to mention last week and the week before. I think I've had this under the candle lamp for several weeks now. But this is Colonial Candle Pink Grapefruit. And I'm assuming it's scent note as pink grapefruit. It was nice. It was light. There's no telling how old this is. I actually got this at Ross for $4.99. It's a nine and a half ounce candle. There's numbers on it, but I don't really know how to interpret them. But anyway, I really kind of wanted the jar <laughs> and I enjoyed the scent. Um, so I gave it a shot and yeah, it was nice. It was just light. And then the rest, I have her Bath and Body Works candles. My beloved pink petal tea cake. Had this going in a candle crock. I think I mentioned this last week that it was there. These are notes of pink rose petals, pound cake, and vanilla glaze. I cannot speak highly enough about this. If, not that I can smell anything right now, but if you have not smelled this, you got to smell it. If you smell it and you don't like it, and you can get your hands on it, warm it. Because that's when I fell in love with it, is when it was warm. Not even really on cold. I thought it was weird on cold. <laughs> anyway. 
um, Frozen Lake. This is another one that was in uh, Candle Crop. Lavender Leaves, Cool Eucalyptus, and Juniper Berries. This is a nice, strong, um, cold type aquatic scent. It definitely has that cold note to it, I guess from the eucalyptus. And did nice in my dog's room. This is Mahogany Coconut. I was a little iffy about this, but I did put it in my candle crock and it did well. Creamy Coconut, Mahogany Woods, and English Lavender. I'm a sucker for lavender. I don't really get any lavender here. I get wood and coconut. But it's a nice combination. The wood did not overpower the coconut, so it let that coconut shine. Um, so I enjoyed that. It was, it was a, oh, well, it was a decent performer, but I'll say those type of scents, I guess, my nose gets those stronger, so it may have not been as great as it actually did for me, but anyway. And then last candle, Cypress and Amber. This is Dark Cypress, Smoked Amber, and Fresh Bergamot. Very nice. This is also in a candle crop. And it's kind of similar to Marshmallow Fireside from Bath and Body Works. It's not as strong, not as in your face, um, but I would say very similar. It's kind of got that vanilla, it's got like a that fireside sweetness. I don't know. I know the notes are completely different, but that's kind of what I get. <laughs> and maybe with a little amber added to it. But that one was a light candle, so um, it was in the bedroom, uh, candle crock. And that wraps up this week's um, Wax Meltdown. I hope you enjoyed. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. So what do I have coming up? I have on Saturday will be my monthly uh, meltdown with all the empties for what month are we in? For August. <laughs> um, and then of course every Wednesday I do my weekly meltdowns and the Saturday, the second Saturday of September, I'm planning to start my um, Cincy Wax Recipe Series, and I've been working on that, finding some good uh, recipes for y'all to share with y'all, and we're going to actually vote on our favorites each week in that series, so yeah, be sure to check that out when you see that come up on your uh, subscription feed, because you're going to be subscribed, right? <laughs> All right, I will let you go. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.